Well, like many people, Mr. Streets LA is a bit hard to judge. Now, I think by this point we can say William, Mr. William Goode, has been more bad than good, in my humble opinion. Betty has done some okay stuff. However, it looks like, at least as a activist, said, you know, William Goode hour or two stopped a night, doing that a long and time ago. if you're ago. good at it... What is occurring? Well, you can make 20 I'm going to concentrate on Aaron because he's now trying the to promote operative Goode, word there but we want to know a little bit about Goode. So, the way I understand it, Goode it, runs a capital fund? Yeah, Jessica that, Palmer. Yes. Uh, he's also a former drug dealer. I emphasize former, but uh, to me, if you have dealt drugs... You are still doing something evil in a really profound sense. So to me, you know, drug dealers and uh, people who commit genocide are kind of on par. However, you have to survive. You wanted to make money. So America is a brutal society. So if you have to deal drugs to survive or get ahead, it's kind of hard to deny that argument. But still, I, I think you do something profoundly evil. So we have a profoundly evil man pretending to care about Scientology, which he does not. For most of William Goode's life... No interest in Scientology. No interest in Scientology at all. And the origins of his Scientology activism is so crazy and stupid. True. So basically, some and when I say Scientology guy that this whole like YouTube SPTV William, form of Scientology because phenomenon. William lost his son and the kind of stuff that William but it tried to be happened. He got insulted, and I guess his idea is make things a lot more evil and worse. But anyway, that's the origins. Uh, to be fair, insulted the memory of his son, which, you know, if it was my son, I'd be very uh, angry as well. However, if you're not really a good person, not really a good father, and clearly not good political analyst, your decision to cash out and become this moronic symbol of squirrel people probably shows you're not altogether mentally stable. But now let's get to Aaron. So for those who do not know, Aaron Smith Levin is notorious as a popular YouTuber who says he does anti-Scientology, but really just promotes himself and his greed and his cult and his insanity. And if you like that, you know, it's your thing. I can't deny I was once a very big Aaron fan. And in a way, I still think Aaron does good work here and there, but it's very rare. So for the most part, the videos are devoted to, well, promoting himself. And he got it into his head. Hey, William Goode is causing a lot of chaos and ruckus. Jessica Palmadessa, beautiful woman's also the squirrel revolutions. Many revolutions unto you, my squirrels. And gave this insanely stupid video promising riches and glory unto thee, my squirrels. Out you go. Two hundred thousand dollars too, you will make. And if they're good at it, they'll make twenty or thirty thousand dollars a month. An hour a night is all it would take. Did you hear what he said? He said an hour or two a night, and if you're good at it. You can make 20 to 30K a month. Now, the operative word there is if you're good at it. William is good at it. Jessica Palmadessa is good at it. So uh, if any of you out there watch what William does, watch what Jessica does, and you'd like to do a similar thing either at the same location or at other locations, So let me try to be super fair to Aaron. What he said was really insane and stupid on so many levels. So one, factually, has anyone besides William made $200,000 doing what he does? Basically a clone channel. No. He and Jessica, in terms of the squirrel people, have the largest channels. And even Jessica does not have like 200,000 subscribers. But I'm sure she's making pretty good money. Don't cry for Jessica. I'm sure she's making enough money. And uh, stealing the money as, as she does. So what exactly do they do? Well, if you told people, it would be shocking. Well, he goes around Scientology places, allegedly screams at people in a loud voice. She tags along and insults people. Not just the Scientology people, but fellow activists. Who are not activists, by the way. So if you have to sum up the squirrel revolution, it's basically wannabe YouTube stars who, and again, there are some good people in there, but the majority of them are just wannabe celebrities, and they yell and scream at Scientology people, as well as civilians. They will just yell and scream at people just walking the streets saying, It's a call! And they just literally do that over and over again. And I took a very unscientific survey. I want to be clear, I'm just doing random stuff, because now they have this weird chart. I'm not on there, by the way. It's supposed to be anti-Scientology. 
But uh, magically, I'm not on the list. Why not? Don't know. But anyway, so this list of 200 channels, many of them are not technically squirrel people. They're just Aaron's friends, basically. So Aaron's friend list has 200 channels. I went through some of them. And, you know, for what it is, it's impressive. So some have, like, 500 subscribers, 300 subscribers. Some have, like, I am not joking. One of them had 666 subscribers. Make of that what you will. And some of them are bigger, like maybe 1,000, 2,000 subscribers. Even some of the bigger ones, the last time they posted something was last month. And their community posts, like two to three months ago. And they're all over the place. Chicago. So, is there a squirrel revolution? No. You've got basically a lot of grifters all over America now. And they've taken out their cameras. Say, I'm auditing a building like Streets of L.A. But really, the biggest channels and the ones that have the most power are in L.A. There's a few Florida channels which are fairly big. It's like, yeah, Streets created this tight little network of activists, quotation marks. And some of them have already retired, like L.A. Cam, as far as I know. He doesn't, he's not doing that Tao Hayun. He says he's back, but he was retired for a while. So even among the hardcore squirrel people who have, what, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 subscribers... Some of them have gone away. They're like, yeah, I'm not really going to do that anymore. And some of the smaller people just went away. Like Sammy. Remember Sammy? Sammy, the woman who was going to save us from Scientology? Yeah, Sammy showed up for three seconds and said, okay, I'm done. She literally deleted her own anti-Scientology content. She's still on YouTube. She has a YouTube channel. She doesn't care about Scientology anymore. So that's what we have. We have a ton of grifters who pretend to care about Scientology. God, I'm Jessica. I hate the cult. Give me money. And so on and so forth. So have they done some good work? Yeah, they exposed police corruption, but did you really need William Goo to tell you that the Los Angeles police are corrupt? No, I don't need William to tell me police forces tend to be corrupt. I knew that already. Through reading newspapers, reading these things called books, I could learn this. So William is not super intelligent. He's not super stupid. He is clever enough. But his whole, I'm making 20, 30,000, bro. I audit. That's not auditing, you idiot. Like, what are you talking about? He just uses this word auditing like, um, I got a camera. I'm looking at a building. What does that have to do with auditing? Like, what what are you talking about? It's just the dumbest thing, but... This is the age of the clown. So you just put the word Scientology and audit. There you go. That's the YouTube power. That's the squirrel revolution. And, and some of the comments here are just so insane. They're like, it's not just a cult but that William has, but the cult is just beyond dumb. They're like, you've got them in a corner. Don't give up now. The squirrel revolution. That's my squirrel revolutions are revolutions. Are rev-. There is zero evidence that this $4 billion, count it, 4 billion dollar corporation is in any danger it's got four billion dollars in the bank has william affected even one percent of that no has he convicted a single scientologist no is a single scientologist who committed criminal acts in jail at the moment I think they filed a few complaints against some of these old Scientologists. They were weird. They were, yeah, you know, to be fair, they were attacking the squirrel people. It was, this has got to be one of the most ridiculous things in the universe. You've got, like, this 90-year-old guy trying to ram a kid who's, like, 19. It's just stupid. But Aaron doing this weird promotional act. Unto you, I give hundreds of thousands of dollars. Be like my good. I need more goods. Like, what is Aaron doing? He's literally just promoting these people, creating this not real movement to distract attention from his sex, finance, and other scandals. Like, Aaron is suffering from tons of scandals. Deliberately get himself into legal trouble and say, Hey, guys! I acted like a jerk and got arrested. The squirrel revolutions continue! And you wonder yourself, just asking, why don't you have a lawsuit against the police officer who arrested you, who is linked to Scientology, by the way. As far as I know, he doesn't have a lawsuit. He doesn't even have a criminal suit. I'm like, what is happening here? Like, what? What? Why? Well, see, the problem is Aaron is suffering from a lot of scandals. So I'm guessing the obvious. 
if he does have an actual civil suit, they're going to go bat crazy and throw everything they have at him. So all his dirty laundry is going to get aired out. Right, These are legal documents. We can look at these documents. We can double check these things. And if it's true, then it's going to be verified in the public record. Because again, Aaron is not totally stupid. He knows how the system works. When I say on YouTube, allegedly, I have to say that. As a legal issue, I cannot say for a fact. Let's just take one thing. I have to say, allegedly, Will Smith may be abusing his children. I don't know if he is abusing his children. For the sake of commentary, we'll go through a hypothetical. Now, I think Aaron is guilty of many abuses. Can I state that as a fact? No. But if he has a lawsuit with Scientology, guess what? If in a lawsuit they prove he did, from then on, I can say, without that, I can say, no longer allegation, in a legal document, it says he did this, it's been verified. Aaron has put himself in a really bad position. A really bad position of being an idiot who got caught in all these scandals. And instead of just going away, exiling himself, or losing his YouTube channel, he wants to stay here, be a grifter, and make money. Listen, that's fine. It is what it is. What I don't like is him unleashing the goot and say, More goot! More squad revolution! <laughs> like a goddamn maniac. Have they really helped anyone? Not really. Have they done a lot of damage? Oh yeah, they've done a lot of damage. He doesn't care. Oh, my squirrels, my squirrels, my squirrels, I'm proud, proud, channel squirrels. Collectively, you look at the subscribers, it's pretty impressive. That's like 250,000 people. But then you look at the numbers more closely, it's like, oh, it's like three actual activists. So you've got 200 activist channels. The actual real activists among this population is like five people. Oh, they'll show up. They'll do the ceremony for LA. Guys, I'm Nora. I love beautiful black women's with that beautiful black woman, William Good. I'm going to go down there to LA for three seconds. Yeah, guys, we're all going to come together and play paper games, right? And this other woman said, guys, don't you know I was in LA two months ago for a protest? Okay, what happened? Did you destroy Scientology? No, we got like 60 people. Okay. How many of these people are real activists? Three? So we have 200 channels. Right, and to be fair, collectively, some of them are two people in a channel, so it's like 250 people at max. Like, three serious people. Oh, don't worry, we'll get like, yo, we'll get 20, 30 people to show up for a photo op. Okay, that's not a revolution. That's not even a revolutionary movement. It's just idiots with cameras trying to be celebrities. So that's the squirrel revolution in a nutshell. They tried to be YouTube stars, and only three of them succeeded. Wasted our time, and did a lot of damage. And that's Aaron's score revolutions, because he can't handle his sex and finance scandals on his own two feet. And there we are.